Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Entrepreneur First's 12th Demo Day in Europe. I'm Matt Clifford, it's my co-founder, Alice Bentink, and we could not be more thrilled to welcome you all today to see the 27 companies pitching from our London, Paris, and Berlin cohorts. Now, for some of you, this is old hat. This is the 17th EF Demo Day globally, but I know that there are at least 100 people in the room to whom EF is new. And so we do just want to take a few minutes to tell you a little bit about why EF is different. We start from a very different premise from an accelerator or a seed fund. We start from the premise that the world is missing out on its best founders. Why are there not more Google or Facebook scale companies in Europe? For us, the answer is very simple. The people who could start these businesses in Europe don't. The Larry and Sergey of Europe are probably working in a hedge fund. And so our job is not to think like an accelerator, but to think like a talent investor. We believe that it really matters what the world's most ambitious people do with their lives. And we believe that for a certain type of person, starting a technology company is the highest impact thing they can do. This does, though, require a whole new model of investing, talent investing. The people that you're about to see on stage pitching and their co-founders didn't apply to us as companies. They didn't even apply to us as teams. Instead, our team scoured the world for the most extraordinary people we could find, brought them into Entrepreneur First, and then over a six-month period, we systematically removed the barriers to helping these people build technology companies from scratch. What you see today is the culmination, not just of six months' effort of team building and company building, but of years of effort beforehand that went into finding these extraordinary people before they even knew that they were founders. When we started this model of talent investing, now almost eight, or oh, just over eight years ago, right here in London, we were told that it was crazy. We were told that it wouldn't work. That you can't take individuals who don't know each other, throw them in a room together, and turn them into companies. It's a little bit more sophisticated than that. But now, eight years in, we're beginning to see the results of this model, and we're beginning to see more and more talent investors join this space. I want to take just a couple of minutes to talk through some of the stats and some of the teams uh, that have been developed through the EF model. Entrepreneur First is working. So over the last eight years, we've had more than 2,000 individuals join us. And that's in Europe from the teams uh, from our locations in London, Paris, and Berlin that you'll see today, but also from our locations in Asia, where we're in Hong Kong, Bangalore, and Singapore. Excitingly, as we've expanded, we're now going to be adding 800 individuals a year to the EF community. We have more than 250 companies in our portfolio, and we'll be adding 100 a year from now on. They've raised more than half a billion dollars in funding, We've had a bunch of exits. Um, they're now worth over one and a half billion dollars combined, um, and EF uh, itself now has just over 200 million dollars of assets under management. I wanted to pull out a couple of example companies to show uh, how the portfolio is developing. Tractable. Tractable is transforming the insurance industry by, being, by bringing advanced uh, artificial intelligence. Tractable raised their Series B last year, $25 million, and is now servicing customers in more than 20 countries. CloudNC, who did they pitch on this very stage? Or they, they pitched, pitched not very long ago at Demo Day. They raised their Series A last year, and they're now building their first factory. Their mission is to automate uh, manufacturing, um, and they now have a team of more than 80 people. Clio, um, Clio, one of our consumer-focused uh, products, they now have almost 2 million users worldwide, having launched in the US uh, last year. Um, Excitingly, they're adding a new user every five seconds. And Clio is a chatbot for millennial millennials to assist them with managing their money. K 
Kieran, and very excitingly to announce today, so Kieran's mission is to improve the detection of breast cancer using deep learning. And today they announced they have raised a 22 million pound Series A from our friends at Atomico, which is super, super exciting. Um, and they will be starting trials with the NHS very, very soon. And finally, Accurix. So Accurix is a platform that allows doctors and their patients to communicate. And in fact, they do that so well that now one in three GP practices in the UK uses Accurix, and they're sending more than 60,000 messages a day. EF is not only working, but it's growing. We've always said that Entrepreneur First is a global mission. And over the last few years, we've added a lot to what started as a very small team in a very crowded basement in London. We are six sites around the world, as Alice uh, already mentioned. And uh, a big hello to our sites in Asia. I know there are hundreds of people watching uh, live streams in the EF offices in Singapore, Hong Kong, and Bangalore. And I'm excited to announce today that it will soon be seven. So in the new year, we will be opening our seventh site and our third continent, we're very excited to kick off EF Toronto. We will be opening up in Toronto in the first half of 2020. We think it is one of the most extraordinary deep tech ecosystems in the world with an incredible concentration of, of talent, particularly in the machine learning space, and also a rapidly growing VC ecosystem that is seeing more and more interest for the companies that are built there. We cannot wait to be part of that eco ecosystem and to contribute it, to it. We look forward to seeing many of you in Toronto for Demo Day next year. Growing a company like EF, which is half VC, half machine, requires a team built for global scale. And so my final announcement of the day, we're really excited to welcome two new executives to our team, uh, Tom and Sam. Uh, Tom is joining us as our COO. He is going to be running all our global infrastructure, everything that makes EF slick, our finance, fund operations, legal, people, compliance, etc. Tom is probably the first hire we've ever made, maybe the only one we'll ever make, that generated uh, national press when we hired him. And in fact, I had a couple of people feel that we'd uh, had a major win for Entrepreneur First, but a major loss for the UK. And that's because Tom joins us from maybe the most difficult job in the world. Uh, before this, he was uh, in charge of all of the UK's no deal planning for Brexit. <laughs> Uh, Tom was running systems at scale, a budget three, uh, three orders of magnitude larger uh, than EFs, and really working out how to deliver complexity at scale. Uh, we are thrilled to have him on the team. Uh, and we also welcome Sam Barnett. Now, some of you will know Sam Barnett from his entrepreneurial days in London. Sam started Struck. Uh, over 10 years ago, uh, Strock was one of the first machine learning driven ad retargeting platforms. Uh, he built that and sold it to Quantcast, the uh, uh, huge uh, big data company in, in the US. You've almost certainly seen Quantcast because they power about 80% of those GDPR, yes I agree, notices on the, on the web. Uh, Sam joined uh, Strock as an acquired founder, ended up uh, one of their C-level execs running a $400 million a year P&L. Uh, he'll be responsible for all EF's output globally, managing our growing global footprint. And again, we are thrilled to see the impact that he has. But I know that you are not here to see me and Alice, charming as we are. And so to introduce the 27 teams from EF Europe 12, I'd like to welcome to the stage Alistair, our Managing Director in Europe. Thanks so much. Thanks everybody and welcome. Just a couple of basic things first. We love it when our audiences, both uh, in person and uh, the, the thousands watching actually on the live stream, um, share what they see today. So our Twitter hashtag for today, EFEUR12, and the Wi-Fi password in case you didn't already have it, EF Demo Day. So today we have Europe 12. We have London 12. We have Berlin 3 and Paris 2. It's the culmination of 17 separate programs that we've run across Europe over the years, not to mention the 11 more in Asia. Obviously, this is EF. I can tell you about the record number of applications that we've had. And yes, this has been the record number of applications for a single set of cohorts. That means more quality founders. And yes, we've seen more teams at IC than ever before to bring you this group today. 
But I think the thing that gets our team really excited is our compounded learning that we're applying over the years. Each cohort that we do is not a copy-paste of the last. We're continuously learning what the best talent looks like, how to select them, how to compose a group um, for the cohorts, who gets funded, and crucially, who are the breakout successes that create the truly valuable companies. We feed this learning back into everything we do, and that's why each cohort is not a copy-paste of the last, it's an upgrade. Before you get to judge for yourselves, just have two thanks to make. Firstly, to our friends at AWS Activate, and also to those at Vitruvian who have both been longtime supporters of the program.